Good morning, Tata. Have you seen my chicken? No, Tata. Have you checked in the cage? It was there last night. Of course I checked in the cage. I'm the one who put it there in the first place. I checked everywhere. The cage, in the kitchen, on trees, everywhere. It's not there. Somebody stole my chicken. Ah, Tata. It's just a chicken. We still have plenty in the cage. Just a chicken? Just a chicken? That was my black chicken woman? Whoever did this will pay! Tata, we can still... Shut up, woman! My chicken is missing and you act as if nothing happened? You know something about this, don't you? You and your good-for-nothing lazy daughters have been planning this thing behind my back, haven't you? Tata Mara, how can we steal something that belongs to us? Then who stole my chicken? My lovely black chicken, my delicious. You know what, Miriam? This ain't over. This ain't over. Hmm. How? How can somebody be so angry over one missing silly chicken? Makos, this week not even a single custom. Do something, Makos. There's no bread on the table. Makos, the get one. Makos, I'm a cool. You may enter. I said you may enter. Marcos, you should not fool around with me. There's no food on the table, and Marcos is messing around with me, making me walk all the way to the door for what? Exercise? Come in! How, oh, Mbebo? Come in, sit down. Thank you. How are you, my good friend? Not good. How, oh, what's the matter? Did something happen? Oh, Marcos, um, no, please. Please don't tell me your only son is dead. No, Vilagazi. My son is very well. They, they stole my chicken. No, a chicken. No, babe, not the chicken. It happened this morning. I had just woken up. The sky was clear. A cold breeze was blowing from the Guba Guba mountains. Then I say to myself, the ancestors have blessed us with yet another beautiful day. Then I looked to the south. I saw a beautiful orange cloud in the day sky. I looked to the east. The sun was rising. But when I looked to the west, yo, it was gone, Villagas. My chicken was gone, Villagas. Yo, 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 yo. My chicken is gone, Villagas. And I came here to find out from the bones who stole my chicken. You know, when you came in, I thought somebody had bent down your heart and killed all your children. I never would have thought you were so serious. A chicken! Anyway, the bones will reveal all. We will find out today who's responsible for all this. Vumanibo! Siavu! Yo! 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 What? What is it? The boss are saying something here in Pape. The boss are talking. I can see their little mouths moving up and down. What are they saying? Shh! Don't interrupt our pants when they're talking. The Ingudwana bones are saying something very bad. They're saying weak. The Shinana bones are saying tongue. The monkey bones are saying lion. What do monkeys have anything to do with my missing chicken? Let's respect the bones, Mpepe. Let's respect the bones. Shh, shh. They're still talking. Yo! What? The bones have spoken. They're saying your son is very weak. Therefore, he has to kill a lion and rip out his tongue to prove he's a man. So what you're saying is, my son has to find a lion cub and kill it? Not the baby lion in Pape. The bones are talking about the lion in his prime. The head of a bride in Pape. The king of the jungle. Are the bones serious? They do know that my son is six, right? Six? Yes, Vilagazi. Six. Oh, the bones are very serious in Pape. You can tell by looking straight into the little four heads. Whether your son is 16, 26, 36, or just 6, he has to face the lion. Can't you convince the bones to... Your son has to fight the lion. Or else... Or else what? Or else you will never see your chicken again. Dear Jesus, 
upper pants in pain. Dear upper pants. Good day, Tata. Your food is ready. It's on the table. Tata, is everything okay? The food is... Where is Fanuel? I'll go and call him. And Tata, your food is ready. Miriam, our pants are sneaking into our home, stealing our chickens, and all you think about is food? Son, you are very lazy and your weakness is costing us. Look now, our pants are breaking into our home, stealing our things. But there's still hope. We can recover all that was stolen. All you have to do is kill one lion and rip his tongue out, and our chicken will be returned without compensation. I am not fighting a lion. What do you mean you are not fighting a lion? I just don't want to fight a lion. You have to, son, or else we are not getting our chicken back. Our chicken? This isn't just about the chicken, son, but the safety of this family. You never know what Ababans might take the next time they break in. They may steal your favorite shoes, or worse, your Leon Schuster action figure. But the choice is yours. It's either you fight the lion or... Abba Pansy Fanuel. Oh, Abba Pansy. We are all gathered here today to witness the king of the jungle fall under the mighty hand of a six year old little boy. That's one hungry lion. That's one nervous lion. We'll now give an opportunity to the father of the boy to say a word or two of encouragement to his son. Dada, this is your last chance to stop all this nonsense. Please don't let our only son get killed by a lion. For a chicken, please. Stop this fight. Son, today is the day you make your father the proudest man in the village. You are going to prove to all the people of this village that you are a man by killing a lion with your bare hands. I know that not even a single boy has ever killed a lion. That beast you are going to fight, out of 57 warriors it has fought, none of them succeeded. When you look into the lion's eyes, don't see the blood of the great men of war that fell by the beast's mighty jaws. But what you should see is your father's chicken son, your father's chicken boy. Thank you. Thank you. That was very inspiring. I will now give an opportunity to the king to say a final word. I would like to thank each and every one of you for coming to witness a young boy getting chewed up by a mighty beast. This shows that our people still hold dear to our heritage, our traditions. I don't want to say much because I can't wait to see the lion chewing some boy meat. And for those of you who are worried about the lion's life, worry not because this lion will be just fine. It has fought 57 battles with no defeats. Today it looks stronger than ever. I can assure you that in the same way it killed my boy, it's gonna kill people's son. Aye, yeah. I don't think so, Ndavezid. 
This boy is not like your son who fell by the mighty beast's beard. This boy has a vision. A vision to bring back his father's chicken. This lion doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, that's right. My son is motivated and inspired. The beast is going down. Watch the space. Ah, oh, come on, people, face it. Everyone can see that your son is a baby. There is no way he can defeat the lion. Oh, yeah, we'll see about that. You were happy when my son was eaten. Today it's you. Oh, go, 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 go. Okay, fine. We'll see. Fine. 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 Who's that monkey guy? Ladies and gentlemen, you've all heard it with your own ears. Pepper says his baby will kill the lion. Psst. Oh, yeah, he will. Mzamani, let the lion lose. Let it lose. Let the lion lose. Let it loose. Let the lion 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 loose. Will you all just stop it? Jesus, it's not the lion or chicken that's important here. It is my son and his life. He's not the one who lost or stole the chicken. But today he's paying for the crime he did not commit. You see, it's okay for us to stick to our cultural beliefs or our chickens as long as our beliefs does not result in the loss of life, whether it be a life of a man or that of an animal. Let's not force our morals and beliefs down other people's throats by killing them when they refuse. Uh, she's she's right. I knew there was something wrong about what we were doing. Son, I am so sorry. Let's go home, son. Forget about the chicken. Let's just go home. Peter, I found it. My chicken. My delicious! Where did you find it? It was behind the door, incubating on its eggs. Oh. I'm gonna say.